my fellow Ambazonians, uh, this is Dr. Cho Ayaba. Uh, many people have been concerned about my position with respect to a certain conference uh, with enablers in the United States of America. I, I know many people always want clarity. Uh, fellow citizens, my position will not change. My position as expressed more than 25 years ago uh, remains the same. You see, it's not because I hate talking or sometimes people say I'm stubborn stuck to my own ideas. No. It's uh, simply because we have been burnt many times. We've been used many times. And if you have gone through these experiences as a people, you make no more mistake because this may be our last chance. We were an independent state, but we had gullible leaders who were hoodwinked into believing that full independence and sovereignty over our homeland means either attachment, integration into Nigeria, or federating with Cameroon. We had an executive branch, a parliament, a senate, a vibrant economy a pluralistic uh, political system that uh, practiced democracy at its best we allowed ourselves because of our naivety lack of depth in the way the international system operates to be deceived and each time we are that close to our setting our goddamn right to be free in the land of our birth they push these enablers to become the spokespeople of the plight of a people they aren't even fighting for. You see, you can't be bleeding in the bushes. You can't be sweltering under the heat of oppression. And some people are out there trying to speak on your behalf, misrepresenting your cause and your aspirations. You know, we haven't swallowed the seed of wisdom. Don't, don't get me wrong. It's not like we are trying to assert that our own plan should be the only plan or is the best plan and no other person should speak. No. What we are saying is we are the vanguard of this revolution and we will not talk at this moment. Trust my every word. We are still weak on the ground. I think once I will be able to declare contenderhood on the ground, we will be in a position of strength, arm enough to make the international system understand you cannot impose any solution on us in the name of peace without justice. Because that's exactly what they did in 1961 I declared the other week that we are an international contender you don't move the assistant US Secretary of State when you are not a contender you don't get the UN Security Council to speak when you are not an international contender but are we in the position on the ground not to lose we aren't we can lose on the ground and I can assure you the way the international system works. If you are beaten on the ground, you lose international respect. They forget about you. Look at Syria. Look at other revolutions. The strength of any revolution is the ability of that people to resist the system on the ground. You shape international politics. We are not there yet at a time when we have internationalized our struggle 
it is time for us to focus to arm our people not to wage war but to defend themselves against an evil system that declared war on us my people Cameroon means us no good it's roasted our mothers in homes burnt our villages raped our women tortured our boys exported our people into its own land and put them through a kangaroo trial kidnap our comrades from a foreign land deported them into its capital detain them in communicado it means us no good we cannot coexist with these people as i said before even as a neighbor it's gonna it's gonna take a lot of suiting for us to live side by side with this system i'm the vanguard of this revolution i'm not gonna blink even if it means losing i have prepared my mind i have prepared my mind to protect this revolution if someone else takes us to boya that's fine but nobody will mess up again with the aspirations of the ambazonian people we must safeguard our revolution you don't experiment in a revolution you must have a plan a strategy if you don't have a plan they will use you the international system knows we are an airport don't be worried my people let them fly to the north even to the moon to the south to the east they will come back to the airport of independence ambazonia will never again coexist with anyone we are free defend that freedom to the last person standing we have suffered a lot we are so rich so endowed and let us free that land set up a government that works for you bats for you defends your interests and be a free people whose consent will determine policies the nature of government and political system and economic philosophies we damn good to be slaves some cacophonies who don't know exactly where they are their history and where they are headed to god bless you all god protect our homeland